do 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 you got the way, you got it, baby. No way, baby. We'll have to do. We'll survive at you. I don't know. You got the way, you got it, baby. No way, baby. No, I'm not going to do. 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 Oh, do 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 You got be where you got you got be no way, be. Mm hmm. Oh, Oh, do do, 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 Enjoy free delivery in Lagos and Abuja now. Order items at the front of the brand new next line. Groceries, tissues, clothes, fashion accessories, phones and everything.
that's bad version. So the reason like some pair. Domina, mina, domina, mina. This is not working. Let me try this. Now, good evening. Good evening to so you all. Good evening to so you all. Yeah, or both. Just trying to play a particular music. <laughs> Yo, my God, yo, my 
Sunday to all of you. Do I have your essay today? Um, we have to bear our ties. We have to. <laughs> we have to um, uh, allow open the the floor so that everybody can contribute to today's program that's what we want to do but before we do that um, i'd like to officially announce uh, to the house that by god's grace by the power of god and our ancestors we're going to be having uh, I'm still yet to brief my Secretary General, uh, someone I respect so much. Sorry, my name is Sir. Our annual Lagadagada will hold by the power of God and our ancestors this year, and to be the largest by far that we've heard. And um, I'm saying it categorically, very confident that we're going to be assembling not less than 35 royal majesties. 35 royal majesties outside the Dove State who traces their ancestry to Benin Kingdom. Last year, we assembled about 17. Last three years, because last three years it didn't hold because of COVID. 
last two years we assembled about 25 here in Benin. But this year, at least 35 royal majesties will be assembled in Benin Kingdom. Um, like I said, like I've always believed, I'm a child of destiny. I'm not a Facebook rabble rouser. I am a, a game changer <laughs> and I'm a go getter. Why? This year will be at least 35 Royal Majesties is because by the ordination of God and our ancestors, the Royal Palace of the Obar of Benin is willing to make it even easier for us to assemble all Benin descendants who are king. Within the altar, by Elsa, River State, um, Anabra State, Ekiti, Lagos. We are going to be, uh, I will have to, I'm, 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 I'm attending next two months the Obeneshimon Festival, obviously, in, in Ghana, with a prospect. Otherwise, the program is supposed to have been in July. Or the prospect to, in, to invite some of the Ga people, the Ga Nongwa people, to join us in our program by uh, hopefully by August. So by August, there will be an assemblage <laughs> of uh, kings, elites of great Benin descendants. And I'm certain even a governor or two might also be present uh, for this year's um, Agada Agada Summit. And um, it's not going to be one day. We're going to be having almost a three days activities, a day, uh, more of like a, we're going to almost have a royal banquet where the Obra of Benin will entertain and um, probably uh, have an audience and entertainment with other Benin descendants who have been kings in their respective places. So by week or two, we are going to start uh, visitations. We're going to start visitations. We're going to start uh, invitations and visitations. All right. So we're going to be having a series of meetings in about a week from now so that the plan we kick off in earnest. So we're going to be having three performance plan, earnest plan of how to get our people all together. And um, and it's going to be marvelous in the sight of God, <laughs> our ancestors. Mm. This is an Italian red wine, sweet, sweet red wine. Uh, one of our IPA who happened to join us in our last two segments. At the time he watched the video, he was in UK. Um, I don't know whether his life, his life is on air now. At the time he watched our program two weeks ago or three weeks ago, he was in UK when I announced that my birthday was coming up. So uh, and invariably in that segment, I was drinking red wine. So he... He, 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 he heard when I said I love red wine. So he was in UK. So when he came to Nigeria, I had a cousin of his that was coming from Italy. So he had to beg that one to order a full carton, 12 bottles of red wine yeah, for me. So, and I have to thank him. I went to the hotel yesterday to collect um, the full packet, the full. <laughs> Red wine. So my red wine over here, Okina, you know, okay, red wine. <laughs> so that's the red wine I'm drinking. Sweet and very nice. So 
But why say no one? Or if you proper Jen Jenner, I think he's returning back to the UK today. But we're together. I went to see him in the hotel yesterday. It was a great man. I had had an amazing time with him. So um, I've had quite an amazing time. <laughs> I've had quite an amazing time with a lot of Edo people. My show rack is full. Any of my followers and fans that are in Nigeria, they always have one gift or the other to give. So my show rack is full. Why I was it? Southern parts of Africa. As of now, we've not been able to trace. We've, we don't know, but if we know, we will be able to find them. <laughs> but you're living my leader. <laughs> you understand? So, you know, I'm a cheerful giver. <laughs> uh, uh, now, VNO. Uh, I don't know what it will be VNO. But if you go, I'll bring the bottle so that I might show now. Oh, uh, Ghana. <laughs> so, you know, my level don't increase. A red wine. <laughs> My Iwe Nigeria rent wine, we don't do local. We do international, Italian rent wine. So, so all of you that are still looking at me with all those local high. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use local high to look me. It's otherwise international. Well, by August this year, we're going to show them the new kingdom. All right? Um, we're going to... We're going to bring um, at least today is um, what's today is it? today is ninth or tenth of every. I want you people to write it down. That is what was said. Is going to bring at least thirty-five royal majesties of Benin descendants to celebrate their ancestral connection to Benin Kingdom. Historically, tent. So I try to always say this. My word is my bond. I just need three, we just need three, four months to make a very good preparation. And once those preparations start up, we'll be able to hit our targets. All right. And that's exactly what we intend to achieve this year. So, West Ottawa Kevin Nines. So, GBD's Association of Great Benin Descendants is going to make it happen. Like it has always made it happen in the past five years, six years. So, there is no cause for alarm. You understand? So, I'm still, I'm still waiting for anybody to be able to say that. Those things I have said I would do, I didn't do them. I've technically, by power of God and our ancestors, achieved all of those goals that I've set out. And I'm setting out another goal for myself. I'm setting another goal for myself. We will bring 25 royal majesties. To be named kingdom, me I do new born on Monoba. Then why? It is easy. It is not an uphill uphill task. I was telling. Um, I was telling Ubinokwa this thing last week. That um, oh okay, I was not supposed to say that. I was telling Ubinokwa this thing last week, and. Um, that it's achievable. It's not. It's not something. It's not a big deal. It's something we have always done. It's something that the ancestors have given up the capacity to always execute. The facts and figures are all there. It speaks for themselves. All right. Just that we're very, very not fully obliged that the the, the palace is willing now to to see to take us as the children that we've always been, a very good ambassador of the palace, to be able to see, to introduce the palace presence 
in bringing all of these Benin descendants back to their place of origin. And that is a massive plus for us. And that's to us, and that's what we've been waiting for. So that we can be able to, there are some doors that we can we cannot open that it only takes if yakma I think why and it opens. So it's massive, it's massive. So we should start making preparations and I always tell people it is not about the financial support. Sometimes it goes beyond that. It goes beyond Everybody taking Izodua's project, GBD's project as their project. It's all of us. It's, it, it belongs to us. I've never always believed that every mandate given to me belongs to me. I'm not a guy who's so crazy about, if not because of the fact that I teach Benin history, I'm sure that a lot of persons do not. As I Benin history, nobody knows me beyond that. It's not as if I'm so social media savvy. If it doesn't mean in history, I wouldn't have been a guy who everybody would know. Okay, so um don't know why more again he said. Um so it's just what we want to do. So it's going to be it's going to be great, and um I want each and every one of us to uh I want each and every one of us to be able to key into this idea to key into this idea and see this idea as their own, all right, as their own. I always, I was, I was with a, a, one of my big brothers today. I always tell him that God and ancestors have blessed quite a lot of Benin people, all right? I put them in the place of authority to be able to be able to make effective changes, all right? And I don't really know why people went God give them so much opportunity. Why they always, um, why they always misrepresent or abuse the such rare opportunity that God and ancestors have given to them? I set an example of um, the former or John Wall mother, um, Roland Ekoye. Who God and our ancestors blessed bless beyond um, limitations, and how could He has gotten to that place and, and abuse of her, the very rare privilege that God and our ancestors gave to Him? I don't know why people do that. I feel that when God and our ancestors blesses a, a person, you should be humble enough to be able to use it positively to help your people and your land. And that's the reason why the ancestors have blessed you in truth. All right? So, and I've always prepared myself that someday, somehow, some time in the future, we will be in the shoe like some of these people who has abused this power have been. And what could help us not to derail from always being the good person and I've always keep telling myself that every day I'm going to wake up and tell them and tell myself that it is God and ancestors as give, that gives and it is also the God and ancestors that takes. So I wouldn't have a pride to deliver what was given freely. And uh, uh, why should I be proud for what was given freely? And that's why uh, Ministry of Art and Culture called me. I'm, so, I'm supposed to deliver a lecture on Thursday. I'm supposed to deliver um, a lecture on Thursday, but they had some logistics and venue issues in Edo State Ministry of Art and Culture as they are resource person to be able to. Um, um, they are hosting a symposium and they are guest lecturer. So I'm delivering an extensive topic. So I've been I've been working my ass off to put pieces of materials together. And um, although it was it was rescheduled, I think it should hold either this week, this coming week or next week. So you all are going to follow me live. So the ministry called me and said, well, we're actually contemplating how much do you think the ministry can offer you? <laughs> Funny. Um, 
in order for you to deliver deliver a lecture on how you can modernization and digitization of Benin cultural heritage or Edo cultural heritage. How do you promote? How do you digitize it? How do you make it appealing? All right, to the people. Um, so I remember telling the one of the directors in the ministry that my job, my duty is to come and deliver these topics. It is not my duty as to being paid or whether being paid. And I was like, there shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a deterrent factor. All right? That shouldn't be a deterrent factor. That shouldn't be a deterrent factor. All right? I'm not crazy. Anybody who has come to me knows I'm not crazy about being paid for anything that I have to share about Edo. And, and because I know that the knowledge I have about my history, it's a gift. And not because I read so much. A lot of people read way better than I do, but I interpret the history better than they do. So that's a gift. So it's not right, it's not appropriate for me to sell the gift that I was given freely. So I believe that freely I was giving, freely should I give? So the woman was really shocked. I was like, ma, I just want to deliver the lecture. I'm not interested in whether you pay me or not. Let that not be part of your thinking. It is not important to me. All right? God has a way of blessing those that do some of these things. My interest is that I really want to go out there to tell the people how they can, how we can digitize, how we can spread out and do cultural heritage. And that's what I'm interested in. And there shouldn't be limitation about whether I get paid or not. I, I, I'm, not I'm not saying everybody should be like me. I'm just saying that. That is what I feel. I think that this whole thing about um, a do cultural understanding, cultural heritage, and all of that should be like. I know my story. Few two three years ago, some friends that I'm, I'm quite not close to now. They understand that basically, quite all of them used to take care of me. I was just a guy who really loved, who had passion for been in history who well, I've always wanted to propagate it. All right. And I had friends who always sent me 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 then. And I was really, really very, I'm still very grateful to them till date. All right. But some of them would not really, um, the, some of them would not, I blocked some of them. Some of them were really don't talk anymore. Not that I don't appreciate them. Sometimes, uh, some persons can cross some certain lines that you don't really like and you just have to block them off. These people really know my story. Then, in the course of my service to my land, I started my own company, I started my own business. And as small as it has been, it has grown to um, a particular height that I know I can take care of myself to a very large extent. So, um, and that's what I'm grateful for. And I feel that all of these things happened because I wasn't all about money. And I'm still not all about money. I just, I feel that one of the greatest supporters, one of the people who have patronized my services are the same people who I freely teach this beneath history, who have been, I've been freely, I've been all this while trying to be freely inspired. So to me, it's really a privilege. It's not a right. It's really a privilege sharing my knowledge with our people. I don't, I don't see it as pride. I see it as privilege. And everybody that has had one-on-one -on -one conversation with me knows that I'm this guy who is so not, who's so down to earth. I'm not, all right, I can not be too down to it when I talk sometimes, but if you know me, I'm this very guy. When when people try to call me a power, I was like, I not be a power. You should not be a power. There's this one of my friends. 
is a former John woman that Monday. He was calling me a party or oh, John a caca boss. I really don't I really if I be a daughter and my boa. So I I think that's how I think. It's for me, it's it's a service that I was meant to render and it's free. All right, and I'm very humble about it because I feel humble to do it. I feel privileged. I feel that our ancestors and God could have chosen another person to embark on this project and they could have done it better. So I feel that a lot of persons know these things way better than I do. And I'm very humble to learn from them. So I do not feel that I know these things better than anybody. That's why it gives me cause to be humble. All right. So, um, so it's it's the beautiful aspect of our collectivism. <laughs> so. Well, that was just all of that, but I can assure you a great program is coming. Agadagada is going to be huge. It's going to be very, very massive. All right. It's going to be huge. It's going to be very, very massive. So I'm calling on all of you that something massive is going to hit Binning Kingdom by August. And I want you all to join me and um, so that we can be able to celebrate our history and be able to celebrate our culture so we should start all of those preparations we are going to make I, I will have to go for I will have to I'm not going to go alone this time around uh, from from the feeders I'm having all right from the feeders I'm having by by the power of God and our ancestors I keep praying from all of these arrangements that I'm having, I'm not going to go alone to Ghana. All right. Um, some palace chiefs okay, um, signed and um, enabled by the great Obar of the will accompany some of us, some of the few young lads to Ghana for July Obeneshimon Festival. And the, in anticipation that we also use that venue to invite them, uh, the, the Chitse, Bobo Wolmo, and the, the councils of um, the Nongwa Transitional Councils, some of their representatives to also come uh, for a program that we are going to slate for August, or so tentatively August. All right, um, so... Um, uh, so tentatively August. So everything is going to be beautiful. So I'm not going to go alone this time. I think this is a partner. Well done, Mr. Zodua. Tell the... I think this was a part I went to see. The part that gave me wine on. Um, I think that's a part. If I respond, though, you know, I can't really remember. Um, I think that's a part I gave me my Mr. Teddy. Uh, aha! No, 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 I'm not sure, Princess Osamudi. I mean, I'm just trying to confirm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's him. But I wish I can view his picture. I should be able to know. Uh -huh. I know he, he, he has only been part of us. That was the first time he was part of us. He joined us live. All right. So Epa should be able to answer if he was the one. Uh -huh. It's Epa. Domo. <laughs> a red one. Where my Dana. So, <laughs> you see, I know they lie. Yeah. So he gave me, gave me a carton of red wine. So, <laughs> uh, uh, 
so, na ipapi da domo no wa Uh, you see, people love me. <laughs> so, so um, those of you that get red wine, what have you heard? Understand? So, if you took plenty, yeah, I'm for my for my for my wedding ceremony. Don't mm -hmm. I appreciate. Thank you for for being for for be. For being humble enough to be able to receive me, even if you are way older, like way older, like older, way older to, to be my father, I was very humble enough to. Why I was so today, like I said, I'm 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 in a bit to come online today on on live today. I wanted today to be an open program. Uh, uh, to be an open program so that we can people can ask two three questions historical questions history historical questions so that we can deal with it now no no it's not alcohol it's, it's non-alcoholic it's red wine red wine has very little percentage of alcohol all right very little percentage all right <laughs> So I did promise I wasn't going to drink. That was whiskey and all of that. But the red wine is very little. Less than. Anyhow, it's just like water. I mean, no, it's sweet wine. <laughs> it's like Christopher Jacob. So today we're going to, um, I'm, I'm going to throw the floor open. I'm going to throw the floor open. So if you have any question, you can ask so that we can deal with it. If, if, if I know them, I can attempt to deal with them. If if I don't know them, we'll just pass. Or we can invite someone who knows them or who, who, who really know the topic to deal with it. All right? So so that we, we're trying to make... We're trying to make it... Today, it's a general discussion. You know, some, sometimes I used to do general discussions where people can just uh, throw some questions. Then... Uh, um, we try, we attempt to answer some of these questions, those ones that we know, those ones that we don't know. Um, so, all of those are our adult language teacher. <laughs> I think I should be, I should be having a, I should be having classes with, I do, I do, I do, I I do it so. I actually spoke. Funny enough, let me tell you what happened to, today. I actually, I actually spoke with one of the Nogi today. <laughs> I didn't know that I made a statement that was not right. He now told me, I don't know Zeni. So I was like, <laughs> Funny enough, that's what really happened today. So that's why I'm so scared. On um, you won't understand, ya. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna go fuck up. I've been scared about some certain things. There's some things that get me really scary. You know, so like for example, meeting the mom, you know, uh you know by the azebo, mom. There are some things that get me scared, actually. Uh, let me know. Niendo, tell ya. Niendo, tell no matter. Niendo, tell ya for all of that. Some of my friends, close friends, knows that I'm quite scared about some sensitive. Uh, <laughs> On that, I think I've addressed that. Uh, um. Uh, Kevin Nines, when did the Benin salutation started and who created it? Ogisorebo. Ogisorebo actually start, actually created it. But the first greeting recorded was Laisu. 
All right. The first written was Lysol. Um, okay. Uh, tell us what make our people in Ghana to run away is the one. Uh, a force I show you. Are you are you in Nigeria? Are you in Edo State? Are you currently in, are you currently in Edo State? Are you in Benin City? A force I show you. I just want you to answer that question before I can answer your question. Are you currently in Edo State? Are you currently in Nigeria? I I can't really remember. Uh, why you don't buy Zola too poor to work on? I have never heard in any of our extant history the flame that Obazola too poor to work on. I have never read anywhere. I'm not saying it didn't, but I'm just saying that. Um, I can't remember I I don't princess or someone I don't tolerate insults please my platform limits insults don't insult anybody I just he asked a question I needed to inquire does it base in business in a door state Okay, true. Uh, I want to do an historical voyage to O. All right, I want to do historical voyage to O. I, I did say I did promise I was going to talk about my voyage at O. Okay, maybe I'll talk about it. I'll talk about. I know, say na so be. Utekong, the flame, where is the village of Isel that was later translated to Isel Ube? Utekong, the flame, if you've been following my activities, my um, uh, private activities like my estate, my estate, everybody in the, everybody that, that lives in Benin, I've been hearing Isel Estate, Isel Estate. I named my estate after Isel Novi Utekong. It's from Utekong. Um, I named that estate after him. He said, that's the name of my estate. My uh, three estates like that in Benin here. It's called Ise Estate. All right. So uh, if the Esoge guy answered that, but let me go back to the very first question that was asked by Kevin Nice. Uh, that was asked by Kevin Nice about salutation. Um, Abel introduced Ugiso Ebo introduced the family salutation system and the first greeting was Laiso. Alright every other greetings but that was what was written. Alright but technically I agree but I feel that the Laidu And um, Lamehi should be the two oldest greeting in Benin because even the Laiso it's um, an extract of Laidu and Lamehi. In one of our classes, I told you that the Efa and the Emehi families we are all the children of F Efa. Um, Efa. Efa and Emehi. We are the children. All of us are all the children. So every family. So that means every greetings. All of the 50-something greetings came from these two greetings. The Laidu greeted by the, um, the Efa family and the Lamehi greeted by the uh, Emehi family. These were the two unadulterated songs of Haidu. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm asking because I'm confused. My community, the current Enoge was in Lamogo, but he became Enoge aside greeting. 
me understand. I don't really understand your question well. Please, Ipa, there are some... Let me get that question. There are some particular families that are not direct descendants of Lamogun. Not, uh, not, not all family, not all Enigi are Oba's children. There were communities that existed prior before the second dynasty. Communities like Imi, communities like Ugoneki, these were uh, tele tele no, that their origin is, is traced back to the very origin of Edo land. There are some communities that had existed long before the existence of the Oba dynasties. So they don't, they had leadership structures. All right. Before so these people already had a structure of their own leadership. So what the in the imperial wisdom of the Obas, they allowed these people continued in their lines of leadership by making it hereditary to the line that was holding forth those leadership roles at the time of the eras of these Obas. So there are two types of enigma, the ones that are direct descendants of the Obas of Benin and the ones that are not. So if you are from Ugoneki, you should know that if Ugoneki decide to not be greeting Lamogu, it is by their own um, it is by their own will. Ugoneki had existed even before the eras of the Ugisos. I will need tell tell no. So it is the community that existed for a very, very, very long time. All right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, this is very lacun uvan with lacun is very uh, uvan with lacun is the sweetest. Ovari Lakwa is a sister. I mean, I After they will say something, 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 something. I usually, there are some a pass. There, there's one woman when you greet her Lakwa. I mean, oh, yeah, die, die. She will go to talk me, 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 since other to you, Kuna. You know, I don't know. Igiodu, Igedu. You know, I don't know. Uh, oh, Igioduma, Igioduma, no. Uh, like a one, uh, predominantly are uh, the Udo people, the assets of the Udos. And, uh, I think I was deliberating with it. Um, you know, I told you, Nosaige, uh, that I, I read the story that you sent to me. Uh, it is what I told you. It corroborates with the story that I told you. All right. The larger units of families will break through, will break apart to form another unit of families who becomes authority in their own image and can create. If I become a very strong authority tomorrow in Benin and well recognized, like the way maybe, for example, um, the way um, I'm from. Where is this Iguiase? Is it not? Are you, are you sure that it is not the Iguiase that I saw today? I saw one Iguiase at close to Iguariahi, the flame. I, I, was, I went to Iguariahi today. I went to check some properties at Iguariahi today. So I actually saw one community that they call Iguiase. I hope it's not that Iguiase at um, Ovia Southwest. After Ovia Northeast, you get there. You get to, I hope it's not that Iguiase. I saw one community called Iguiase. <laughs> Uh, I have a friend that greets Layu. Mm, they should have. They should have scattered. All right, like the one family. 
um, it's, it's an offshoot of the, uh, I'm certain of that, it's an offshoot of the, um, the Lamogun. So some greetings were offshoot of one, but I'm just saying that every greetings are offshoot of Lamehi and Laidu. All right, Efa and Emehi family. That's where every greetings come from. But the first institutionalized a family greetings is Laiso, the greetings of the Ogisos, which meant I'm a force to Lamogu. Which meant I'm a force to Lamogu. And I've always said it, that the earliest of us have been greeted in one of our class, that the earliest of us have been greeted, um, uh, the earliest of us have been greeted Laiso. All right, until Prince Y had to to buy the goods in Lamogun from the Gun family. All right. Uh, what about Lavieze family? Um, we call it Lavieze. Lavieze. It's not easy. Eze. Lamosun. We greet Labo. Labo is a very prominent family. Uh, which family greets Labo again? I can't really remember. Lamosun, yeah, Lamosun. I know Lamosun. That's <laughs> that's the Eo family. I won't be able to remember all of these families. Who's who was? Um, he was the Iase of Ezezuwania is Ezenozuwa. It was the appellation of I, I think I've talked about his Nosadiba Samsi. It was the Yase of Obaorobwa. Obaorobwa's father was Obaihengbuda Nobu. Oba Hengbuda Nobu had stationed one of his most fierce military general in the present day Ika land or present day Delta state. All right. It's in the present day Ika land or present day Delta state. And when Otoid Yorui, when the son of, um, no, 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 Obaroba's father was not an Ehembuda, Ehembuda was Obaroba's son. Uh, Obaroba's father was um, Obaisigi. So Obaisigi, one of the most trusted and fierce warriors, was sent to the present day Kalan where he fought several wars and he became a military general that was recognized and honor for me Gyokberge, in a place now called Onisha Olona he buried his son history can no longer remember the name of his son but what history can remember is that the name of that he later became came to Benin I was made the Yase of Obarubwa his name the Benins now remember him as Iyase Obodumbem. It's not Iyas Lavizi is not traced to Eze Chima. Because, well, I don't need to disagree with that. I have, in one of my videos, I have factually dispelled um how do i say it i don't want to be offensive i i, I how do i say it chief is one of the most respected chiefs in the palace of the obara Benin, so i don't want to be seen uh disagreeing with him but i've had a talk to i think we can talk about that but is a chairman did not create the live easy didn't it's only a prominent family within Benin. 
Nori Gioge do that can have a greeting aligned to him. It's a shame I wasn't part of it. In the first place, it's not easy. I've always said that his name is not easy. Chima, is he me? And um, it was that year self of Barubwa who was brought up in the uh, surrounded by Igbo territories, whose greeting paraventure was always about the Bem. That its aim is a patriarch of Ivizi. Is the Chima was never an Iyase, so how come that the Iyase's greeting is traced to him? The historical narration that was given by our most respected um, Eshogba was rather mis uh, misinterpreted. I don't want to say he's wrong. <laughs> Because it's wrong for me to say that he's wrong, was misinterpreted. All right, but that let me leave it that way. I've answered that one before when I was dealing with um, a lot of worries and. Um, Talk. So I don't want to. Talk. The 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 la laviers is <laughs> not. So is a chima. It's to that years of Obaro, but which the Benins remember as years of Bodobem. It's not Igbo. I've already explained it. Should the case Igbo people? It's from he. His father was became the head of a place called Onicha. Olona in present day Delta State. The history is there. Igu Wangwe. I don't know. But I think it's a straightforward history, Mr. Johnson or Saige. I'm from Igu Wangwe. So it should have been founded by one of the Uwangwe so of Benin. <laughs> so, uh, but I wouldn't know which of the Uwangwe at that time of history that founded it. Uh, why you are large, Princess Osamudia, means that it is not a family greeting. It is not, it's not a statutory family greeting. What you now call lavizi is not a statutory family greeting. It's mobile. So every man, if for example now that I currently greet Lamogun, and in the future, the Oba now makes me the Yase of Benin. For example, why we have why we is having a video of the Yase. I must I didn't say that. I'm just saying, for example, if I become the Yase, the tradition requires that I change my family greeting from Lamogun to Lavezi because I am now an Yase of Benin. So the Yase greeting. Is not statutory. It is not one family that owns it. It's a series of families. Any family, no, you agree. No, you two years and at one point in time, the Yase was, Lavise was never their family greeting. If you trace your history back, 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 you discover that you had a family greeting before, but one of your patriarchs became Yase, and by that ordination, it not changed the greeting of the entire um uh, uh, nuclear and extended family so that's why love is, is everywhere because unlike all the greetings that are statutory the love is a greeting is it's mobile it moves from one family to the other so that's why it's large No Sade Basamsi Utik Beni is not an Ezomo Ezomo that is a Henwa Utik Beni Edo Utik Beni is the present patriarch 
of the Ezomon's family. Ati e uti beni. Alright? Then, Ezenozuwa is not... Ezenozuwa, more correctly, is not a name. It's an appellation. For the love Yeze. With Yeze. Greeting. Hmm? Okay. I, I might not know all the genesis of every greetings. <laughs> Lao there. Um, I know of um, I, I um, the Lao there family greetings. I might not exactly. No, no. The love is for the same. Oh, no. The same greeting is for Latosse. Is the same greets Latosse. Two family greet Latosse. The Eholo Nere greets Lyre. That is where the Ogiamian family belongs to the like the Eholo Nere's family. Um um a lot on not a lot on now um uh it don't have it don't have great lot of set um olia laugele it don't have lot of set is a more like a son um uh eh oh la motion a hollow uh -huh, now that I'm correct now. It don't hear, it don't hear, and the CMA will greet later. Set uh, well, I think yes, Laobo, yes, should should be traced to a hen Buddha noble. In any CMO, except I don't know the same you are talking. The same you are talking about, Mr. Edo uh, Odo 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 Yi. Odo Yi. <laughs> so, uh, if it's, if it's not, it's okay. Um, is it the same the one that we call Asaka no Shongyong no Shongyongba? I don't know why one of them probably. One of the Latose family members in history eventually became an ERC. So if it be if any of the Latose, originally Latose family becomes an ERC, yes, it cannot greet Laviese like I have explained. I'll be greeting my mother. <laughs> uh, well, I did not say that you are not related though. <laughs> I haven't said that. Your body to the heart. I just say, I'm just saying that. To say that the Lavese family is very big, I now explained to you why. It's not a statutory family greeting. Uh -huh. Asaka no Shon is, is from his name. No, the flame, Asaka no Shon Yonba. I have a shame, we are one be. Almost four family are greeting Labo. Let me, I think, uh, let me investigate the matter. Family salutation, because now I use family greeting. Let me see whether I have something on family salutation here. Uh, A bear family, it's one. Okay. Okay. Um, Labo, where's the Labo now? 
the label has you are correct uh or ten or more or more four family have greet the label family number one Enogi of Ugo, Sakomba Road, or the Ugo Nye Koryon, or John Way of Iduebo, so that means uh, it was created by, correctly, Hengbo Danobo, because it was, Uduebo was created, Udum, Nanadum Ebo, not Ebo, Ebo, oh, so not Ebo, Ebo is sham, Ebo is native doctors, Get it? Ebo. Ebo is white. A white people, foreigners. Ebo is charm. <laughs> charm. I at Ebo. But Ebo. Ebo native doctors. Obo native doctor. The plural form of native doctor of Obo is Ebo, Ebo Cham. So, Idwe Ebo, uh, quarters of native doctors. Uh, Oswan of Benin, o, Osen, Osen Ube, Osen Ube of Benin. These are the four families that greet the labo these are the these are the four families that greet labo mm -hmm. yeah one in uh -huh. someone ask um Lauwe. that's a no gi of Uwe. okay A lot on land or anyway. okay i've tried um no 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 i've i was with a friend i chatted with a friend about two weeks ago you know i will win you by because the ogamian people I will go about again doing anything. Then that is why the Oba of Benin of old, in their infinite wisdom, created a neighborhood watch. He created a quarter of his family. He said, we naturally, actually from a community called Uhie. It was, it was during my travel. It was during my voyage. Not travel. No, sorry, not travel. It was during my voyage to Uho. That is when they now told me that on a compa who here, who here in, in along Sapley Road, the real pronunciation of oh, hey, hey, is is a quiet okay. So if I hear I got some very <laughs> very beautiful information. I don't want to share them, I'm putting them in, I'm gathering the pieces. That Eva Egenede, the founder of that Ogun, the Prince Ogun, uh, Prince Ogun, we don't know why. On me, are you here? On me, can you are you? On me, yes, you. Me, I swear, Prince Ogun say, "What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? On me, yes, you. What are you? The underworld or the upper world." <laughs> So, oh, yeah, yeah, it can oh, yeah, 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 Now, that is the original home of the CMO. But the others of them knew the volatile nature of the Ogiyami and their propensity to be troublemakers. So that's why he now took this CMO guild and stationed them right opposite, almost opposite the Ogiyami house. We are going to a palace now, so that they are here women. This same we will just quickly flog them. So I was quarrelling with one of the CMO son the other day that you people are failing your responsibility of uh, flogging these uh, Ogiamian people who are 
now they generally know as troublemakers. Oh, and I know legitimately as troublemakers. <laughs> so I know. Because they are one arm. Because they are one arm. They are just like a family arm. One of the family arm of the greater Benin people. That's where they have one family. That's why they have one family greeting. That's why they have one family. That's why they have one family greeting. So, the Nogi of Hera. It is not an insult, no sadeba, and you shouldn't take it as an insult. It's not an insult. If you have been following our program, it is in the pay trash, in the in the religious trinity of the Edo people. There are three arms of power. God the Father, the Spirit, the Olokun, the Spirit which is the Olokun, and the manifestation of the Spirit which is the Obar of Benin. Olokun represents all that is riverine, all that is water, all that is last body. He is the God of the water. The Obar is the God of the land. So he takes by the providence, by the hierarchical structure of this triology of the Benin religion. God is number one, Oloku is number two, the Umbar of Benin is number three. So that's not an insult. Oba no Rame also no Roke. It is not an insult. The Urunigwe people does the Igwe festival before the Obar of Benin. Because Oloku is greater than the Obar of Benin. So that's not an insult. So that's not an insult. So people shouldn't be too overzealous about that. And I've always said it, Oloku is not okay. For instance, the family greeting of this writer is Laku. And the answer is, okay, who wrote this chapter? Let me see who wrote this chapter. And yeah, you know, I was saying it just now. Uh -huh, you, uh -huh. Like, for example, the, the present Iyasar of Benin, his family greeting is Laku. Now, look at what he wrote. For instance, the family greeting of this writer is Laku, and the answer is, Okume no yuwa. Ukbao nugege. Abi nugege. Oviame Obanya Bivi Ko Yo Vime. I repeat, O Kume no Yuwa Uba O Nugigbe Uba O Nugigbe Oviame Obanya Bivi Ko Yo Vime. Child of the Oloku. The deity of the sea, the purveyor of all prosperity, the face that reflects beauty as, as a mirror does, the child of the water with which Oba's beads are washed. Hello, my child. So that's the so normally when 
Agato a lacon will wear. That is how you. I know I said before that the lacon greeting is very, very unique because the way they used to answer. So the present Yasser of Benin's family greeting is lacon. All right? Uh -huh. Lacon. But I think it's one of the few Yasser that refused to change his family greeting to Laviese. Otherwise, he, his family would have stopped greeting lacon. And they would have been greeting Laviese because as an ERC. But I re I know I'm certain the secret Lacum. <laughs> so Lacum, very nice. So if you are from Lacum family, <laughs> over wise is very sweet. So and very palatable. So these are some of the topics we need to talk about. So I think we are almost rounding, rounding, rounding up. So any other question? Oloku is not classified as a deity. Okumeno Yuwa. Oloku is not classified as a deity, and it never will. I've always said that. Oloku is not a deity. In the, in the trilogy of our religion, Oloku is a divinity. If the Benin people had uh, worked on our religion, Oloku is supposed to be one of the subherd. Men have been Holy Spirit in the Christian religion. Oloku is supposed to take the form of the Holy Spirit, or even Holy Spirit is supposed to take the form of the Olokun. So Olokun is not a deity. It's a religion. He has his own followers, the priestesses and the priests of Olokun. But remember, Olokun is not Oho Opiaeno. Ebo, I got a highway, is a divinity. Um, let me try and read something from uh, let me try and read something from uh, a, a particular topic I don't like to talk about. Okay, look at what um, um, <clears throat> look at what um, Ebohon wrote. Hierarchy in Benin cosmology. God, sub gods, sub goddess. Deities, spirits, elements, and hovering spirits, ancestors, lower souls, lost souls. Hierarchy in Benin cosmology. God, according to Ebon, has four forms Osanogodua, Akbama. No, has five. No, has four forms. God is called Osanogodua, has four forms. The forms that God exists, according to the Benin cosmology, is number one, Akbama, Udazi Oriole, Ova, Odiova. These are the four forms that God exists upon the Benin cosmology, according to um, uh, the legendary Ebo. <laughs> I don't get to read all of this spiritualism, but I have quite some books about them. Akbama, Udazoriole, Oonva, Odionva. Then the sub gods, that is where you have Olokun in the Benin cosmology. And he also classified them as Ogiwu. Ogiwu and Olokun are sub gods. The bringer of words and life, Olokun, and the bringer of death, Ogiwu. These are sub gods. 
Then you have sub goddess. The sub goddess is Oto, the earth. It's a sub goddess. Then classifications of the deities. There are quite a lot of deities of Wae, Ebomisi, Akenisi. Um, these are deities. Then you now have the heroes, the heroines. Now, under the deities, you have hero. That's where you have Okwae, the Ebomisi, Ezuku, you have Akenisi. But under the heroine, you have Ovia. Ovia is a woman. Okweno. Then you have the Ele. I've always talked about the Ele. Ele Niye Wai. All right? Then you have the spirit element and ovary spirit. Then you have the ancestors. The ancestors are classified into two. The male, Eini no I didn't even know that now. I didn't even know that now. I just know now. There's something I needed to talk. Um, 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 male, Eini no It's a male de ancestor. The wife female is Eini no wa. So Eini wa, now I say Eini wa is actually a female ancestor. I didn't know before. This is not according to Izodua. <laughs> uh, according to Imaso I didn't. This is not according to Imaso Izodua. That is how it is. All right. Olokun is not. Um, is not a deity. It's not classified under Benin cosmology as a deity. Hmm. And I know used to read them um, all this beneath cosmology. But I think there are some parts I wanted to read. Mm -hmm. Like I said, no Sadeba Samsi, the concept of idol. It's dependent on how you rate them. I don't understand what you meant by the word idol. Oloko is an idol. Oloko has always been there right from the very existence. Way older than every Obas of Benin. Way older than every Ogisos of Benin. So you cannot classify what has been with us. The Benins have always, have always had two forms of worship. Osagbaye and Olokun. These are two original forms of the Benin worship system. Osagbaye, a system of worship to God. Olokun, the system of worshiping through the Olin, Holy Harris. Then you also now have Awera, the ancestral worship. These are not idols. These are not deities. Along the line, we started to have heroes, great reputable heroes and heroines, which we now deified. Which we now deified. Define anything. It's more like a colloquial way of saying that in recognition of this person. It doesn't make that person an idol. And moreover, I don't know what people classified. Um, Olokun is not a, it's not a lady of piano. I've always said it. A lot of people have always confused it. Uh -huh. So. It doesn't classify it so. So I don't know where. My enemy. Really? I think I saw something just now. Okay. What time is it? I think it's um just a minute, please.
いやー OK I think we've done quite a long uh, time so we are rounding up now so um ah uh, olokun family salutations but one thing i wanted you to understand the, the rationale for our ancestors creating the rationale for our ancestors creating the greeting system was was because they wanted that we can have a self identification mechanism system one of the advanced if you, that's a scientific invention that wherever a benign man will be all right main all right wherever a benign man will be wherever a benign man will be main greeting will be able he can be able to trace his ancestry to what how many generations that he can otherwise it would have been imagine if imagine all every other ethnic groups Oh man, I think my my phone is about my phone battery is, is about um, is about to die. <laughs> so I didn't charge this phone. Sorry, I'm just seeing the notification that my phone will be going off. Uh, all right, so uh, okay, I just pray it doesn't go off. Go off. Yes, one of the highest, Prince Dennis Den. It's never been replicated anywhere else in the world. This is what technology is trying to not create, genealogical line using uh, genome analysis, using, using DNA, trying to use uh, uh, what they call genotypical rituals. All right, you create, um, uh, trying to create a genome line to identify the genealogy of a particular family. All right. So that is what the ideas of the white in this time, the Benins have discovered it more than 1,500 years ago, that you have to find a way to self-identify yourself. No matter where you are, it's, it's easier. It's easier for me to be able to trace my genealogical line because I am Lamogun and I know that being that I'm a Lamogun come from the Egboba, that sort of a thing, it makes everything a lot easier all right so that is things that we should that is why it pains me if the modern benin people are not thinking they're not putting on their thinking cap as of now we're supposed to be inventing things that will grow that will enhance the growth of the modern benin society rather than Break down. That's why I was really pissed in my last video about someone trying to break down our cultural heritage because he wants to build modern whatever. All right, we are supposed to be putting the, our thinking cap on how to build on the on the beautiful ingenuity of our ancestors. They were these guys were sorry I call them guys. This these people were amazingly brilliant. All right, Am amazingly brilliant, and that's what. I think that the Benin people should be thinking about not bringing all those ragged, low self thinking people to not lead us. All right, we're having people who does not have foresight, who's not intelligent enough, who does not have the creativity, who does not have what it takes to actually lead us in this modern times. And that's where we've really, really missed it. So we need to start having people. Um, um, we need to start having people who can really, 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 really put this, these things, these things in order, and that work is most amazing. So I'll be rounding up now. In conclusion, for some of you, 
gifted, gifted. I know, say, you build lap phone. I have heard you. No, say, <laughs> like I said, I said that on our appellation, those lap phone family greeters. On our appellation, our top notch. Top notch. So, um, so I thank all of you. So, in conclusion, um, sorry, um, I've seen some um, some people want to call through. I've seen some requests for life to join this video. I'm almost rounding up. Uh, um, so why are we saying? Yes, beautiful, beautiful masterpiece, beautiful masterpiece. All right. So I want to thank all of you who've been joining me. I always do that, and I also want to thank all of you who has always been in support of my uh, um, um, of my brand and of my business. So um, it's always good that I tell all of you, for some of you who have always supported me, support my business. I'm an exit developer, so always find a way to patronize your brother so that your brother can move forward so that we can have uh, so that we can revolve our work around ourselves. So for the past two weeks, I've seen a lot of you call through that you wanted to get properties from me. And I'm really, really happy on how some of you have gotten properties from me. I, I don't want to mention names, but I think I have to mention names. Uh, Princess Osamudi, I got property from me. She's very troublesome. So I will know. Then she introduced a friend, Christopher Jacobs, Madam Eve Ike, and uh, quite a lot of persons have been calling through. So that 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 shows love. It's massive. I'm I am very, very appreciative of the support. So I'm calling others to also support a brother to grow in his business. I think that's the only way. As I give him a red wine, which I love, <laughs> that's the best way to actually support me. All right, supporting someone who is. <laughs> I, I did a post the other time and I say, who no, who no follow me by me, not call me. Um, who no follow me by me, not call me. <laughs> A lot of people took it okay, personal. <laughs> I was just playing around. All right, we'll take calls next week in the flame. Next week, Sunday, we'll take calls. And um, I have an amazing topic to speak about. Uh, uh, now, and I don't want everybody to see you. You're doing fantastic. She's been my greatest supporter. However, I was asked to also warn you to stop insulting your people. All right? Insults, I always tell people, insults don't breed results. Insults, insults don't. You don't convince people by being volatile. You don't convince people by being insulting. You can't convince people. It's only someone who is not learned, someone who is not schooled, that you will convince by being rash, by being harsh, by being, um, yeah, by being, yes, I was in Ghana last time. That was July, yes. I've been in Ghana this year to July, so I need, I need a homecoming banquet. Uh, so, I need a homecoming banquet or, or, or from you guys in Ghana. I'll be in Ghana by July. I know they miss a, a guy festival, Oben and Shima. I'll be there first Saturday. I should be there two days before first Saturday of July. I don't know when first Saturday of July will be. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will not need my year in the beats to get all of it. I will not need in Nigeria. So, all of this, you guys are most amazing for the support for for supporting me so keep supporting me i really appreciate and um, um for those who don't have resources it, i pray that god bless everybody to have resources to be able to patronize one of their own 
And for those who don't have, you can also also speak to friends who are interested in getting properties in Benin and in Abuja. Okay? So this one, my brother, they say, mm, why I take him here? Why I'm here here? Accra, Accra Mall. Now there, one of my brother, Mike, he want to use food, Kimi. Biani, he, biani, le, le, le. So by the time I start making preparation, maybe by the before the end of this month, I should get my tickets. I should get my ticket to travel to Ghana. So I don't want it to be expensive be too expensive because I got the tickets last time. But if we are mortal, we might have to use vehicle to travel because it's really fun. Those are coastal buses from Lagos. It's really fun. But if we are not much, we'll just fly. All right? So if we are not much, we'll just fly. But I think we need to be much more so that we can storm Accra. All right? Nedoga man, Usedoga man. Um, um, <laughs> so, so we're going to stand there and so for those <clears throat> of our people who are in Ghana so be ready your people you miss so oh, Madam Eve you miss where well, where so um uh, reach out to me, um, uh, Princess uh, Samudi. I mean, will reach out to you, Sandra Poon, to tell you where we have all of those properties. Uh, Princess, now you reach out to our sister in private. All right. And um, so I thank all of you. So next week, this coming Sunday, our next class will be very, very exciting. Will be very, very, very exciting. So uh, I'm going to be talking about, I just, I just did a research. Um, uh, um, I just did a research on one very fantastic community, and uh, we're going to be talking about oh, we're going to be talking about that that community next week Sunday by God's grace. So, uh, Sandra Cool, reach out to Sandra Cool. She's requesting, she's making requests of where our properties are. You know, say now you be my. Now you be my diaspora P. <laughs> now you be my diaspora uh, Lolo. So, so uh, you Yeah, it's very large. And, and I said why it's very large. All right. <clears throat> and I said why it's very large. Um... Which property? I said um, I'm, I'm an exit developer, so I have I sell lands. I have in Benin, I have in Abuja. So so that's what it is. So I thank all of you for joining us and those who came late after I end this bulletin, after I end this live video. So go do well. Um, go do well. Uh, go do well to go back and look at what we've talked about since and um and that'll be private uh that one you say you i do it for my day i said i've been losing it right now <laughs> oh god i have a boy we know that anyway it's a very, it's a very funny guy so um I'll I will uh I will I was I'll see you all on um no 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 nothing like that we uh, uh I don't think <laughs> nothing like that nobody can land grab you uh nobody so nobody can land grab you all right <laughs> so uh, free your mind from all of that. All of those we've done all the necessary paperwork signed by a good lawyer and um, the CFO, the resolve and all of that. So you don't have to worry about that. It's very safe and it's very secure. So um, why are we safe? How about talk where we said? So I'll see you guys on Sunday. So please join us 6.30, 7 o'clock. Between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. 
we'll be online so that we can talk and talk about other very interesting topic as the ancestors will lead us so that we can be able to give all the best that we can possibly give to all of you all right well what's the about talk about it <laughs>